kittens and kitties, and welcome to another installment of Ham Shackles Hangry Holiday Gift Guide here on the Angry Writer channel, featuring Matt F. and Wallace. That was so good. First take. First Hashtag take. Hashtag nailed it. Fourth episode. You finally got it, babe. Yes. So yes, we're back at you with Ham Shackles Hangry Holiday Gift Guide. Um, if you've been enjoying the episodes we've been doing so far, we appreciate it. We've got something I'm really excited about. I knew I wanted to do this as soon as we we came up with doing the, the gift guide this season. I know it's a little getting close towards Christmas here. Yeah. Um, that's because it took me a while to get my order in for it. This was not the fault of the people behind it. But we have, by back by popular demand, the Don't Eat the Gum Box. Jesus, holy Christ. <laughs> so here's the deal. Um, if you've seen Gee, the... <laughs> which box did you get? If you've seen... The Don't Eat the Gum boxes we've done in the past, um, I first, they do three tiers. Don't Eat the Gum does a $25 box, a $50 box, and a $100 box of their What's in the Box uh, mystery horror, vintage horror, sci-fi fantasy box. I tried the $25 one. I liked it. I shot that video, stepped it up to the $50 one, shot that video, and I asked everybody, do you want me to go for the big one? Do you want me to go for the $100 box? Everybody in the comments said yes. So my lovely wife, for Christmas as my present, my holiday gift this season, she got me the big uh, what's in the box from Don't Eat the Gum. This was definitely, I can already tell, value 10 out of 10. Look it's, at the size it's a, it's a gigantic, of this box. It's a, it's a mono box. box. If you did not see our previous uh, Don't Eat the Gum box videos, this is one of the most unique um, mystery boxes on the market. It's not a monthly subscription box. What it is is Don't Eat the Gum. Uh, which is a reference to those nasty sticks of gum that used to come in trading card packs when yeah. we were kids. Don't Eat the Gum has this thing called What's in the Box? And basically, uh, it comes whenever you order one. If you, Whenever you put in your order, they personally curate you a box of vintage horror, sci-fi, fantasy, mainly horror, focuses horror, based on your taste. You tell them, this is what I like. These are the movies I like, the directors, the comic books, the TV shows. And Kevin Kennedy, who is the, the man behind Don't Eat the Gum, he personally curates you a box of mostly like vintage, hard to find stuff that you're not going to get in any other yeah, monthly cool. horror subscription box out there. It's just not going to happen. And this is not my thing. And even I admit it's pretty cool. It's really cool. So Kevin, so like I said, I did the $25 box. I did the $50 box. Everybody enjoyed those. They wanted it. So I wanted to do for the gift guide, Hamshake with Reality Gift Guide, I wanted to do the $100 Don't Eat the Gum box. And this is, it finally came and I'm very excited. So if you're interested in getting this, I will put all the ordering information for Don't Eat the Gum in the comments. It's a great indie company. Kevin Kennedy runs it's amazing guy. I really like him. I completely wholeheartedly uh, encourage you to support them. It's a very unique experience that you're not getting. You're not going to get into the horror box. So I've already cut the tape on this because it's a big giant ass box. <clears throat> but once you open it, uh, this is what you're gonna. Oh, Lord, let me help you. This is what you're gonna see. Well, yours will be completely different than this. Don't knock over the camera. Wow, well, paper. So there's paper. We will remove the paper, and then you will see things. Jesus. Da -da 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 -da. So much paper. Oh my God. That's what you're you're not gonna see because your box will be completely different from this. But so that's what that's what the box looks like. Holy God. Okay. okay I think you're gonna have to. I'm like, gonna take move it this to the side. Yeah, I'm gonna move this off Woo. to the side, and get it out of frame here. And we'll, we'll reach in and we'll start. Um, so here's the deal. I'm going to do the card last. So whenever you order Aww. a Donate the Gum Box, you always get a personally a written card from Kevin Kennedy, the man behind Donate the Gum. Um, with I, artwork. With artwork. He drives a little skull and there's my name. I usually do this first, but Kevin will often talk about the stuff in the box in the card. So it's sort of like Spo the spoiler, spoiler card. Yeah. Sort of like this, the version of the spoiler card. So I'm going to save it for last. So we'll set that aside. And there is, there is so much oh stuff in there. What the hell? Um, well, let's start with the, we got some rolls on top okay, here. Okay, let's do those We first. got those, we'll get those going first. I'm trying to get this, there we go. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, we attached the card of the artist on this one. Oh yeah, that's that, I'm at, oh, we'll get to that. Okay. So we've got first in the, in the little rolly tube. Oh, this is like a professional job. This isn't like the Reynolds wrap job that uh, usually. I like say. the Reynolds no, wrap. No, I love the How Reynolds wrap. I love the indie box feel of the whole thing. Oh my gosh. So this is obviously gonna be a print of some kind. Possibly several prints, we don't know. Um, oh, oh wow. that's so cool! Okay, so check. Oh my god. So check that out. Right, right away, already very impressed. We've got a print, so it says Haddonfield Halloween. It is obviously made up to look like a comic book cover, 
based on John Carpenter's Halloween. Uh, John Carpenter, one of my all-time favorite directors. Just talking about John Carpenter and Halloween yeah. on my blog just this week. So that is beautiful. Yeah, Who is that? So is there a little so card? So this is by uh, The Vile Consumption. That's vileconsumption.com. He's got a great card there that comes in there. It doesn't tell you anything too much more about the print on the card, but that's the artist. And if you're The in, print is pretty self-explanatory. That is yeah. so cool. That's, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome comic book cover made to look like Halloween. So I'm not a horror person, but I kind of dig this. I dig the comic book element of yeah. it because it makes... I don't know. It makes it more campy, like I can handle. Like I like horror movies, like Army of Darkness and Evil Dead. Yeah, Nikki's not a horror person. Um, we will explain in a minute why she's doing this video, though. There's a specific <laughs> reason for it. So that's very cool. Halloween print by by Vile Consumption. That's really cool. I like that a lot. I love that. The next one has a card taped to it there, and it's Mike Skaggs. We've gotten several I was Mike Skaggs. Say, this is the second one. Yeah, right? we've got a few Mike Skaggs stuff in our Don't Eat the Gum Super Box before. Cool. They're always they're always really good. I got a good pinhead from Mike. Uh, let's see wow. here. Oh, that's that, that end is sealed the, up. Yeah. That end is sealed up. This is all dead air. Vamp, Nikki, vamp. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't know anything about horror too much because I have nightmares. And yeah, Nikki really, can't do... Nightmares. She can do suspenseful things. Yeah. Uh, but that... Oh, oh wow. wow. So that is Mike Skaggs. That's obviously a Freddy Krueger. Wow, that's creepy. That's so. like OG Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah. Wes Craven, before he was a children's character, Freddy, too. Because yes. that's... That's scary that's AF. Peter Pants. Yeah. That's Peter Pants, Freddy. That's scary AF, Freddy. That's that is not Cheshire Cat, Freddy. Very no, cool. That's really cool. Love Mike's Gag stuff. It's beautiful. It's like pencil. Yeah. It is. It's I love the yeah. drawing. The pinhead one from uh, that I also got from him was good, too. So that's beautiful. Beautiful prints to start us off. Wow. I love that. I like both of them. I do too. This one you can't hang in the house though because I'll no, cry. No, that'll you will you will cry. But I like the the pop art one a little bit better. So get a DVD. we've got a DVD from the directors of Napoleon Dynamite comes another unique view of the world, Gentlemen Broncos. So I've heard of this movie, but I have not seen this one. And this is actually one we don't have in our DVD collection, which is massive. So that's impressive. Uh, Kevin, that, that you were able to pull a movie that we haven't seen before. So is this supposed to be a scary movie? No, I don't think so. It looks very whimsical like uh, Napoleon Dynamite was. I imagine it's screwed up in its own way. Hmm. It's got Jermaine Clement in it from uh, Fly of the Concords. Uh, well, I'll read it. Uh, mount, your, mount, your, mount your battle stag, grab your popcorn balls, and get ready to laugh at Gentlemen Broncos. The director of Napoleon Dynamite and co-star of HBO's Flight of the Concords team up to bring you the story of Benjamin Purvis, a lovable loner whose life is turned upside down when a pretentious fantasy author steals his story at a writer's camp. Oh, shit. Jennifer Coolidge and Mike White join a hysterical cast of oddball characters in this fun, quirky comedy. Oh my god, that's for you. So this is, that's hilarious. I have to believe Kevin picked this. Because you're a writer. Because I'm a writer. That's awesome. I am an author. And uh, that sounds like a very relatable kind of story. So that's see, you can't. Who's who's gonna do that? Who Thanks, when you Kevin, who when you cool. order? Yeah, who when you order a mystery box is gonna take your profession into account? I didn't even put that down. You just he knows that from Facebook, I guess. Uh, you're, you're and my blog, and, yeah, angry it's writer. angry writer. That's very true. So yeah, that's really cool. That was personally selected by Kevin for me. Haven't seen this. Looking forward to checking it out. I uh, fun the collection. I wasn't the hugest Napoleon Dynamite fan, but I like I loved aspects of it. Um, Oh my God. Okay, we need to do... Okay, so I mentioned there's a reason, even though Nikki isn't a horror fan, why she's doing this box with my me. My name is an envelope. And it's not just because it's the gift guide and we do the gift guide together. <laughs> so there is an envelope, a sealed envelope in the box, <laughs> to Mrs. Wallace from Santa Claus. Uh, that is Nikki. Nikki's my wife, so that's referring to her. So here's what happened. I wanted to order Nikki her own box for uh, the holidays. Because she is not a horror fan, I asked Kevin if it would be possible to do an entire Elvira theme box because Nikki is obsessed with Elvira. That's one of her favorite things in the world. She loves the old Mistress of the Dark movie from the 80s. She loves Elvira. I do. Um, Kevin, unfortunately, did not have enough stuff to, in good conscience, fill a whole box. But he told me that in my next box, he would have extra Elvira items in it just for Nikki. Oh my God. So Kevin, this is, that I is, love you. That's yours. That's to, that's to you. That's not for me, so you need to open I'm that. I'm just like so excited. Do you need a knife or can you pull it open? We have a knife available. We have a knife available. Let me just, oh, Jesus. Do you want to use the, here? Yeah, could you use the sharp things? I'm not good That's with okay. sharp things. So we'll just, Ooh. like a letter opener, as God intended. I'm so excited. Okay. 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 Pull the first thing out first. Ah! 
So I got an Elvira movie macabre. I'm so excited about this. So that is Elvira doing what she does, yes, which is hosting, hosting crappy horror movies. Oh, I'm so excited. We do not have that either. We do not. Let's and see. I love her witty commentary. Like, I probably will have to, like, cover my eyes through the scary parts. They're usually. That does look like an old one. Her movies one. are like usually pretty campy. Yeah. So I can make it. But I just love her witty commentary. I think she's so cool and beautiful and just... I dig Elvira. This is so cool. I'm like really excited to watch. What else we got? Was oh, that? Oh man, there's so much stuff in here. There's another one. Oh! <gasps> Elvira's movie in Macau. That's Frank another edition. Frankenstein's Castle. Yeah, you'll totally be able to watch oh, these. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. Yeah. So this one, okay, this is exciting. When a Neanderthal man is lynched by villagers, Count Frankenstein uses his years of research to bring the monster back to life. Like you do. This looks super awesome. Neanderthal type. I love the it. cover too. Like, look, they don't make art like that anymore. I miss that stuff. I love crappy, uh, super yeah, awesome. old school VHS style. Oh, Kevin, yeah. you're knocking out of the park. I'm really like excited to watch both of these. Um, all right, and then I'm I, like, I, this is like Christmas. There's like, it is. more That's stuff in the box. It is literally is. What's in the box? And there's oh, cool. Oh, you got an Elvira Mistress of the Dark so, sticker. Um, it looks like. Kevin does these really cute like bags and all of his stuff, and normally they're filled with candy. Oh, we have. We're gonna. Um, yeah, we'll get to the. But he. He sent me one, and inside is an Elvira Mistress of the Dark. Is it a sticker? It's a sticker, and I just absolutely love this. Oh, that's so cool. Look how cool. Super awesome. I absolutely love this. Kevin, thank you so much. I know you you watch the video, so thank you. And I know I'm like I'm not making this very interesting for our viewers, but like this is so cool. No, I'm kind open. of like geeking out. Who doesn't like, love Elvira? I really do love Elvira. Um, I think she's such a neat, like, fun character. I funny. I've never seen Elvira in person because I'm actually <laughs> too afraid to walk through Knott's Berry Scary Scary Farm to see the hanging because I, if somebody jumps out at me, I like punch them in the face. Every year. I can't do it. I she wants do to it. go to Knott's Berry Farm at Halloween to see Elvira because Elvira's there and every year she's too chicken to do it. Um, <laughs> now, now you know my secret that's shame. That's your secret shame. So those were Nikki's bonus Elvira Thank items you. that are technically not that. part of my box, but that was from this Kevin. Thank so you, cool. Kevin, of Don't Eat the Gum. Let's pull something else All out right. of here. So this is the big item in here. Holy crap. This is one of the biggest items in the box. It's a, okay, I can already tell this is gonna be awesome. Oh my God, is it a Fangoria toy or like a? It's I I don't know who it, what company will have made it. I don't think Fangoria does toys. Ah. It says Movie Maniacs. Movie Maniacs. Oh, so it's McFarlane. And it is Holy The crap. Thing. Again, John Carpenter, one of my favorites. You will hate this. That's ugly as hell. I know, but that's the creature from John Carpenter's The Thing. That's beautiful, that is a beautiful I mean, it's figure. a neat figurine, but it's yeah. scary. That is based on, of course, Rob Botton's amazing creature effects in the thing. Some of the best creature effects oh, in the history of Ash. cinema. They do have Ash. I've seen people get Ash in other ones. That would have been for Nikki. Cool. This is for me, though, and I love The Thing. The Thing is one of my favorite John Carpenter movies. I know you hate this kind of stuff, baby, but this He's is beautiful. He's got, like, a dog coming out of the movie. I know. The, originally, he infects the dog. In The Thing, she hasn't seen The Thing. Yeah, I'm In The sorry. Thing, the alien uh, samples your DNA, and then he can become you. So okay. he he becomes the dog to start off with in this uh, wow. Arctic camp that they're in. And then in. does he become what and then looks he be like a tree? And then he becomes a horrifying monster. Oh, okay. That lashes out at everybody. So that, that is sense. McFarlane's movie Maniacs from John Carpenter's The Thing, and that is literally the thing. And that's that's that's, that's awesome. Really, it's, it's a, a really detailed. Figure. It is. It's beautiful condition. That is really gorgeous. It's really cool. Uh, very cool. All right. Further going, I see a book. Ooh. Oh, this is really... Oh, that's awesome. So we've got Stephen King's uh, Film Fact. Huge Stephen King fan. Put that in my preferences. That's awesome. Uh, all that's left to know about the King of Horror on film by wow. uh, Scott Van Doviak. That looks awesome. I have not read this. This is I, I don't have this in the library. And I love Stephen King movies. That's a really cool item. I didn't. I haven't even heard of this before. That's I really cool. I haven't either. So yeah, we got a, that is a cool thing. copy that's, of Stephen King film. That's going to be fun toilet reading. That will. I'll read that on the crapper. Um, okay. He does a lot of reading there. So as Nikki mentioned, uh, with Don't Eat the Gum, you always get a bag of candy yeah. and extra buttons and stuff. This is because this is the big box. 
This is it's not a, a popcorn little, holder. It's a popcorn holder. It's a popcorn box. I suppose it is. And I it love his bags. Like, look how cute. Like, you like yeah, little scully bags. Little scully and then bags. This one's got blood on it. Bloody bags. Oh, check this out. This has got all kinds of stuff in it. Holy cow. So, oh yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is a plastic popcorn box, and you can see it's just full of stuff there. Okay, well, and you I want to like. I'm going to spill it out so we can see what we got. Oh, there's lots. Oh, wow. Oh, oh Jesus! Wow. Okay. He crammed this So the this first hole. thing is, he always does um, little horror themed candies like this are like little body parts, which is really cool. And then he's got some crazy um, fake oh. bugs. <laughs> that's really. And skellies. Little skeleton uh, plastic pen. That's those are totally and they, going on my desk. This one has a machete. This one does have a machete. This, I think they're or like pirate. Thing. They look like pirate skeletons. This reminds me of that old Disney cartoon. Have you yeah. ever seen that old Disney cartoon where the skeletons dance? I think, I mean, I've seen a lot. Of, I've actually like, seen a lot of media where skeletons yeah. dance. And again, I'm going to get rid of these because okay, no freak yeah, Nick no. yet. So we've got all kinds of stuff. Oh, a little candy cane for Cute. the holidays. Cute. Um, we've got, oh my, oh my God, God, there's so much stuff in here. Uh, more little candy canes. There's buttons. There's more candy. Oh, yeah, we've got a little button set. Don't eat the gum. Oh, this is awesome. So we've got... Uh, oh, neat. We've got a little it's... button set. Pennywise. We've got uh, Freddy... When he kills Terran and Dream Warriors, which is my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street nice. movie. Uh, we've got How Are Those Maggots. We've got Kiefer Sutherland from uh, from The Lost Boys. And I, oh, that's um, uh, uh, Dawn of the Dead. Not not Day of the oh. Dead, Dawn of the Dead. That's a beautiful little button set. They're, they're regular uh, pin that's buttons. That's really cool. I love those a lot. I love all the little buttons we got. So we got a little button got a set. a scary pad. We got a... Uh, it's a, it's a notepad. A little plastic like. bag in here with a face cards, promo card, what looks like a little notepad. Oh, it is. It is. So, yeah, a little face cards, promo card, and then this is a little notebook. And that's got uh, Michael Ironside from Scanners on it, and that is awesome. I mentioned Cronenberg. Uh, when I ordered this box, I added that to my preferences. So that's a little Scanners notebook. You can keep the tiniest notes ever in there. You can. So it's a little notebook, a uh, little blank page notebook. That's pretty cool. But it's got Michael Ironside from Scanners on it. Oh, and then it's got the little on the back from Scanners. Very cool. Oh, my God. So I'm going to freak out about that. When you order uh, Don't Eat the Gum Box, one thing you always get is card packs because that's something that Kevin does. Vintage card packs. Oh, my God. I know, right? That's one of the one I freaked out about. So we've got Mork and Mindy trading so card. Cool. That's an original and open pack of Mork and Mindy trading cards from back in the back in the day. I love that. Is there a year on this? I got to be towards the bottom. 1979? That's so cool. That makes sense. That's really cool. Uh, we've got... Uh, Bernie Wrightson Series 2, uh, fantasy uh, art, fantasy horror art cards. Very cool. Old school garbage pail kids. Gotta have it. Wow. Back in the day. Hellraiser. I recognize it. <coughs> Hellraiser trading cards. Those are cool. Very cool. I love all the vintage stuff you can't get. I yeah, do I too. So cool. Oh, this is so cool. So he sent us more. I've gotten a few of these. Uh, so this these are too. these are Fangoria cover magnets. And that is uh, Cronenberg's The Fly right there. Bam. Love that. That's awesome. This one has guts coming out of it. That's Videodrome. That's another Cronenberg movie. So that's, Ke dude, Kevin killing it. And again, it's a refrigerator magnet. I love that. So he gets, so these are all my little Cronenberg uh, that's really items cool. there. That is really cool. And then we've got a bunch of other stuff, more magnets, original art uh, magnets. Those are refrigerator magnets. That one too, is that The Exorcist? This is The Fly. That is, oh. uh, that's, I think that's, the, that's Bundle Fly. Yeah, The Fly. Oh, this is, oh my God, this is so cool. What's that? Is that a sticker? Let that yeah, be a it sticker. Is, it is. I'm not even gonna open that. It's a They Live sticker. Wow. John Carpenter's They Live, Rowdy Roddy Piper. I should have kept my Roddy, I was wearing a Rowdy Roddy Piper shirt earlier. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. That's from uh, Atomic Cotton. I assume. That's really cool. I love this sticker. That is amazing. And then we've got a, um, a Chucky sticker. Creepy. Child's Play. And then on the back, look, it's uh, it's David Lopin from Big Trouble Not, Little China. Oh, my God. Your favorite. Yeah, that is my we favorite. We just watched Big Trouble Little we China did. the other day. Whenever Nikki tells me, put on any movie you want. It's always Big it's Trouble It's always Big Trouble Little China. China. Is there Which other... I'm fine with because I really, really like that Did movie. I actually get everything in the bag? That I you get did. Everything you actually went through So everything. all of that stuff you just saw was in this little popcorn so crazy. box. Those are all just little extra things that Kevin does. That's so cool. All right. And it keeps going. There can't be more in this box. We've got some kind of Lucite thing wrapped up in a quarantine bag. Oh, is it like a snow globe? It looks like I it's don't like, know. like a snow We're globe. We're going to find out. We're running out of room. 
to put things on. I don't want to molest. I don't even know how we're going to do the recap. There's not enough hands. There's not enough hands. It's too much stuff to recap. Uh, so hold on. We'll, we'll get to this. Sorry, folks. I mean, this is... Wow. So It's really well wrapped. Kevin always does a good job yeah, of making nothing, sure the stuff arrives. Like, nothing not... in the Dirty the Gun Box has ever been broken or messed up. Yeah. And he sends you some fragile stuff. Wow. So I'm getting the bubble wrap open. You can do it. So what have we got You're here? number one. Oh, this is from... This is so cool. Wow. So this is like... This is from The Thing. This is oh a cash God. shot of, uh, you can see Kurt Russell in there. That's from The Thing. And it's like a snow, it's like a snow globe picture frame. That's really funny. And the movie takes place in the freaking uh, Arctic. So That's funny. That is so cool. I've never seen this before. That's neat. So it's a, it's a picture of the cast from The Thing. And, uh, and it snows. That is real. I'm totally putting that on my desk. I've never You're seen never one of these. You're never going to not be doing this shit. No, I will do that all day, and I have no problem with that. That is so neat. That's really cool. Um, that is so clever. I, f I think Kevin made this. It, yeah, it looks yeah, like it. I think really he, yeah. Like this is like made by Kevin's two hands for doing anything up. I love this. This is, yeah. this, is, this is the way you get this box. You will never find this in any other horror monthly subscription box out there, I guarantee you. That is so cool, man. That is really cool. And that's a great display item, too. Yeah. And it goes with the house right now because Christmas. It does. It, we can make it part of our Christmas decorator. All right, we've got a few more things. Oh my God, there's more? There's more things. Um, Food gravy, Marie. Oh, we've got a print. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I love this one. Oh my God, so it's the peanuts. Oh my God, that's so cute. But that is uh, Sam from Trick or Treat, yes. I believe, instead of the Great Pumpkin. Okay, that's awesome. That is really, that's so messed up in the best way. That's going up for so Halloween. So that is from Evil Child, uh, Chris Hetty President, Evil that's Child really Art cool. Studio. That's a great print. You would just think, if you, honestly, if you didn't look at that closely, you would just think it was the peanuts. That's beautiful. You stupid blockhead. <laughs> and then we've got... Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh, very cool. So we've got a comic book, an actual comic book, not a print this time. Wow. Um, Tales from the Gore. So that's, uh, I'm not familiar with this. So that's made, it's Idiot Head Comics. It's made up to look like an old EC Tales from the Crypt uh, comic. That's but uh, cool. So I'm not familiar with, with this. I won't pretend to be, but I'm sure if it's in the box, it's totally cool. worth it. And, I'm, you know, I love EC Comics back in the day, so that's fantastic. Wow. Um, and then we've got an old OG issue of wow. Fangoria Magazine, uh, Hellraiser. Uh, you know, Clive Barker, one of the originals. I love getting these. This takes me right back to my childhood. I subscribed to Fangoria and Starlog when I was a kid, pre-internet when this was this was the only place to get movie news on genre movies. So and is I, he a bad guy or a good guy? Um, as he says in the movies, baby, he uh, they are angels to some, demons to others. Uh, basically, you summon Pinhead if you're like the ultimate sadist. He's a cenobite. They deliver pain. To you? To you, to... That's the thing. In the movies, it's about... If you haven't seen uh, Hellraiser, the Cenobites are an extra-dimensional race, and people summon them, usually to try to make them do their will, but then things go horribly awry. Of course. So, in most of the movies, they aren't good guys or bad guys. It's how the humans try to utilize them that, that screws everything problem. up. It's sort of like the old monkey's paw kind of story. Okay. It's like you think that you're going to bring them to do your bidding. That this is the answer to your problem. Yeah. So Pinhead is really kind of neutral, you okay. know. But that's the classic line is demons to some, angels to others. Pinhead is the horror neutral. Pinhead is the Pinhead is chaotic so he's neutral. Beige. He's chaotic. He is the beige horror. He's the of beige horror. of horror. Okay. All right. So that the box is finally empty. Are you sure that there's not a whole dead body in leaves there? Leaves us only with our card. So I'm going to do the card if wow. I can I can't even find my knife Hold at this on. point. It's buried under all this stuff. Oh my god, from, somebody sent a search party for me. Seriously, I can't find I don't know where my knife is. Uh oh. it's here somewhere. Well. Oh there, oh, there it, it is. is. We re literally, it was buried under everything. I couldn't find it. Alright, so let's open the card here. The the final item in Ardoni. And this will have bonus items in it too, because everything in the thing. So we've got thank it's a, a thank you card from Kevin. There's stuff in it. And it has Oh shit, this is so cool. So he put little bonus cards in it. This is so awesome. So that's a that's a Freddy versus Dream Warriors sticker card. Cool. Oh my god, I'm gonna figure out how to display that. That is so cool. Put that on your. I own. love that too. It is that is like the entire cast of Dream Warriors, like a promo still. That is I've never seen this before. That is so cool. Put it on your own. 
your laptop. I will put it on my laptop. I just don't. I the thing is, if I peel this off, I don't know if it would still stick, and I don't want to screw it up. Well, wait, what? We could just cover. I'll it figure tape. out. Also, the ghost from Ghostbusters on That's the back of the cool. curtain. So apparently, at this card set, you could assemble a picture. That's honestly one of my favorite items in the box. I know it's a little thing, but I that's that's, really that's cool. my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie, and honestly, one of my favorite movies of the eighties. Um, then we've got some extra car. We've got the more Brundle Brundlefly from the Fly, uh, and we've got some Courage Pale Kid cards. We've got uh, Gulliver Travis and Wally Walnut. Uh, those poor babies. Courage Pale Kids. <laughs> it's so messed up. Like from the perspective of an adult now. I truly understand how screwed up the Garbage Pail Kids card. Seriously, I love this. I'm geeking out so hard over this. Yeah. I know this is such a little thing, but that's so cool. I wish I had like a giant print of that. Oh, that is cool. Okay, so. Happy Horror Days and Seasons Bleedings. Aw, he means it. <laughs> Matt, thank you for your continued support. May all of this find a good spot in your place. The Halloween print is from Corey Holiday of Vile Consumption. The Freddy is Shock Studios. And I had to get a little something for the missus. The movie Gentleman Broncos is hilarious, especially if you're a writer. Hang on to, uh, hang on to and take good care of that figure. It's worth a bit and is only increasing in value. Kevin. So wow. that's your handwritten card from Kevin Kennedy of Don't Eat the Gum. This is, see, the thing is, this is like getting a box from a friend at this point. Because Kevin yeah. really takes the time to learn what you like. And he doesn't just get you crap that you can go get at Hot Topic. He goes out and finds stuff like it that I, you never know existed. That's the thing. That's yeah. the thing. You had like all this, you know, the, the frame and the, just the little, the little card and just all this stuff. It's like getting a box from a friend who shares your interest and really gets it. And even Nikki got stuff in the box that I she love loves. Yeah. Um, I cannot wait to watch these. They're going to be so, like, silly and fun. They are. It's going to be us. So, Yay. I don't even know how to do, like, we can do some, I'll try to do some quick recap here. We'll try. We'll um, try. We'll really, we'll go, we'll go really quick. How many hands do you think we have? I'm not going to go through every little thing, but, so we got our uh, print, our Peanuts print with uh, Sam from Trick or Treat instead of the Great Pumpkin. We've got our OG Fangoria vintage issue. We've got our Tales from the Gore comic book. We've got our Stephen King film fact, a very thick book. Um, we've got our The Thing uh, figure, which is apparently worth quite a bit of money. And I'm going to take very good care of this, Kevin. I promise this will be displayed prominently in my office. Uh, we have all the card packs and pins and magnets that were in the popcorn box with the candy and all the extra stuff. Uh, my little note, my little notepad, all the extra cards that were in that. We got your DVD. Uh, we got, uh, oh, the DVD, Gentleman Broncos, because I'm a writer. We have our two prints, which is our Freddy print from Mike Skaggs. And our really beautiful. It's already scaring me. It's just here. Yeah, Haddonfield Halloween comic yeah. book original print. We got our awesome Elvira stuff. Nikki got her Elvira stuff, her two DVDs, and her really cool sticker. Yes. Um, I got my framed uh, The Thing cast photo. Snow globe. And a snow globe frame, which is still, every time I look at that, that's awesome. Um, I think that's everything. Oh my god. Uh, that we got. And a pear tree. And a, and a pear, pear tree. tree. Um, look, here's the thing. I, you know, we do our rating system with curation and value and exclusivity and all that. Tens across the board. I'm not even yeah, gonna fuck with awesome. it. Um, for value, for exclusivity, for curation, this is just one of my favorite boxes out there. If you're into sub boxes, this is a wholly unique experience. Uh, as in terms of doing it on the gift guide, I cannot recommend this enough if you have a horror fan in your life. Uh, order it for him for Christmas, even if it's a little close and it's going to arrive after now again. That's my fault, not birthday. Kevin's. Get it for a birthday. Get it for any kind of event. There is no horror fan or even sci-fi and fantasy fan. If you've got somebody who's really into genre stuff, movies or books or TV shows, they will love this box. I love this box. It was a perfect Christmas gift. Thank you, baby. Nikki, this was Nikki's Christmas gift. You couldn't, you just couldn't find, it's just so much. And I'm going to like go through all of this later one by one and I'm just going to enjoy it all over again. So Kevin Kennedy and Don't Eat the Gum, great company. Go support them. He has a ton of options. He did a special Horror Holidays box. I ordered one. That's not, that's not here yet, but when I get it, I'll still do a video about it. He does different sales. The, what's in the box is like the main mystery box sale, but he does a bunch of other boxes and, and, and packages. You can go check out the site, Don't Eat the Gum. Highest recommendation for Ham Shackle's Hangry Holiday Gift Guide. Uh, Nikki, you have anything to add on that? No, I just think it's a really fun gift, like Matt said, for anyone that's into like the horror genre or even if a specific thing. Like if you have somebody that's like got a giant Jones for vampires, I'm sure he could curate you a vampire box or yeah. anything of that. 
a nature that's even a little bit more obscure. I mean, he even found me like Elvira items, even though that's not a wide as wide of a range. Yeah. So I think um, you know, just a really neat idea. It is, and Kevin Loved goes it. goes out of he really cares about yeah. uh, giving you uh, what you want and giving you a good experience. So. That's it for this episode of Ham Shackles Hangry Holiday Gift Guide. I think we got a couple more things to do. We'll we try do. to get out before the holidays this week. We have we have an angry review. We have an that. angry review on the gift guide. It's We're Nikki's really looking forward to that one. Be back with more gift guide, uh, the vlog every day here on the channel. All the stuff we're doing, check it out. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, what you think of the box. Go support Don't Eat the Gum. I'll have all that info in the description below. I'm Matt Wallace. I'm Nikki Glow and Wallace. And we will see you next time. Happy Bye. holidays, everybody.